very happy to see you. Good to see you. Too. I know why you're here. I've seen the weather report. The weather's uh, lousy yeah, in California, but look at it here. Much better. You have rain out there, you won't get terrible. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's what they're still having here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know we've only got a minute or two on our street to make a speech. I think you still have the uh, uh, dish here on your desk. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Ron, I've got a couple of personal matters. First, uh, you were nice enough to send me a
just by sending tools to the human beings down there that are willing to do the job. So again, I thank you very much. Thank you for being here and for all that you're doing. God bless you. That's the one I <laughs> want to be sure of, that it's revenue neutral and that we don't... Uh, to, the, to the extent that anybody can know of any bill is revenue neutral, it is, uh, it is revenue neutral. Yeah. We can meet your 35 percent, 10, 15, 25, 35 percent. We can do $2,000 exemptions at least for the first two brackets. And then How are you? I see you. How are you? Stopped out halfway, turned back at the police, and he says they don't give them damn Protestants much time. <laughs> 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 totalitarian Marxist-Leninist government is established, is determined to go on and carry on that way. They have just recently ruled out the Catholic of the Catholic newspaper. It can't be published. They presented Cardinal, prevented Cardinal Bravo from uh, last Christmas from uh, doing a Christmas service at the health center for the uh, handicapped people, the people that were there. They won't allow the Catholic radio to, or the radio to broadcast the church services as they as they used to. They burned the synagogue. Most of the Jews have been driven out. There may be some that still stay, but 
and they can't be very many because they've been persecuted there. And we think I'm fine. Nice to see you. Well, it's good to see you. Oh, you go. Why don't you? Well, I got mine. I got mine. Right? <laughs> all right. He just came in. I forgot to take it off. He put this on me. Well, that's all yeah. right. Yeah. Apologize that you are Irish. Uh, yep. I heard that. Yes. Oh no, I'm not apologizing for it. <laughs> I just got to save it till the 17th. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I missed the photo there, but I got to get a shoot. What Jim Hartman is this whole thing about the Contras and, and how it's, I think, uh, suffering from a lot of misinformation on the other side. But we just feel we want a political settlement. And the Contras do too. And nine times we've tried to get the Sandinistas to enter into negotiations with every provision that we could make for ensuring that there wouldn't be any railroad or anything. The Contras, every time we've been willing to lay down their arms and come in. They want a political settlement. What they want is to get back and reinstitute the aims of the original revolution against Somoza, democracy. And we've got a totalitarian communist government there. And it is dedicated to carrying on the expansionism of the, of the communist movement. We feel that the only way we're ever going to be able to bring this about is the pressure because they're, with all their help from the Soviet Union and their arms and all, they don't have the people behind them. A lot of those countries are deserters from the Sandinista army. And our own friends are like, yes, sir, how are hi, how are you? Hi, Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. 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 And Miss Atahor. Yes. Well, you and I will go over in front of the fireplace, exchange our papers, and then we'll have you come in for a family picture. Yes. Yes. No, you. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, welcome here. I understand you were ill, and I hope you're feeling better now. Say, I am much better recovering now. I can have nice for you to say that. You know that my name work as hard as I possibly can to help improve the relations with the other. I think uh, we both are conscious this area. I mean, we need it. Um, well, I am very conscious of that. I, I hope that we can. I, we, we look with great favor on the steps that have been taken there toward correction of human rights, and field of narcotics and all, and uh, Yes, we would like to. I know we are going to look into the other aspects too, and I hope that uh, solutions will be found. All right. Maybe so. I think if they're between us, it's a prettier picture. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, welcome. Pleased to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, President. Yes, we have yes. this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The Ambassador of Finland. Yes, Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. And Mrs. Rotten. How do you do? Mr. Nice to see you. You and I will go in front of the fireplace and exchange our papers and have a picture taken, and then you will come okay. in the end of the day. Nice to <laughs> Very pleasing time with your president. Thank you, sir. And we're glad that the relationship is stable as it is between the two countries. No problems. We'll keep it that way. Between us. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, welcome. Please stay. He's finishing the book now. They have they had them all stacked up in residence, and then they move them to the cabinet, oh. and then all. So we're moving so fast. The ambassador of Panama. Mr. Ambassador, Mr. President, well, welcome. Very pleased to be here. Yeah. And nice to have you here. And, and Mrs. Bazan. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice to meet you.